On Friday, the U.S. dollar closed out as a net loser, even though the U.S. economic updates were arguably net positive for the week. The Canadian dollar, on the other hand, came in as a net winner as it wrote early positive economic updates from around the globe. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. Monday is going to be light on the economic calendar with Japan's industrial production, the only noteworthy event. Today I'm looking at the dollar yen pair, which remains below the daily Ichimoku cloud and formed a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern on Friday. This could mean that last week's gains were a temporary correction in an overall downtrend. Now, do you think the dollar yen pair will reach the 101 level anytime soon? head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.